Okay, hello everyone. So today's talk is titled Look Deeply Into Your App with Augury. My name is Igor and this is Vanessa and we're both working at Wrangle. So, first of all, what is Augury? Um, well, you might have heard about Augury before. We were formerly codenamed Bad Wrangle and uh, Augury is a Chrome Developer Tools extension that allows you to visualize your Angular 2 application at runtime. Now, to be more specific, we think of Augury as more than just a tool to find bugs, but more as an aid that gives you additional insight into your application's behavior at runtime. Now, Augury is an open source effort that was started at Wrangle.io, and it's written using TypeScript and Angular 2. So let's see where we are coming from with this. So let's look back at the past. So in the fall of 2015, uh, we started working on this tool. We kind of hacked a quick prototype in about a week for Angular Connect. As you can see on this animation, it's pretty basic. But nevertheless, it illustrated an important concept of uh, us being able to get this information from Angular 2 and that we could do something with it. Now, we went quite far since then, I believe, and we went through several major iterations. Uh, we gathered a lot of feedback from internal usability testing as well from the community. And now we have a beta version available on the Chrome Store. So, with that in mind, let's look a little bit more deeply into your app with Vanessa. Thanks. So, Augury is not just a debugger. As you all know, the demand for complex Angular application is growing every day. And as the app gets more and more complex, there are all these layers and layers of abstraction and all these information. It's really hard to keep everything in your head. So Augury aims to make your life a little bit better by giving you insights to the dynamic behavior of your application so you can understand what really is going on under the hood. It does so by giving you graphic re representation of component relationship, dependency hierarchy, router structure. I'm not going to go through the whole list because that's a mouthful of words. But the idea is that by understanding how all these elements tie together, you as a developer will be able to build better and more optimized applications. So with that, all that talk of what Augury can do, I think we're ready for a demo. So first thing first, you have to install it from the Chrome store. Checking, checking. Awesome. So after that's installed, you can fire up any Angular 2 application and there's no extra work that needs to be done on your end. Open up the dev tool, you should see a new tab um, all the way at the end called Augury. Fire that up. Right off the bat, you'll see um, a list of all the currently loaded components in your application sorted by the hierarchy. And as you roll over, there's visual queue showing you where they're located in the DOM, much like the elements panel that we're also familiar with. And any change to the DOM tree or, um, <coughs> sorry, the component tree or components will be highlighted as such. So that's all just the component tree stuff. And on the right hand side, we have. Sorry? Can you zoom in the font? Zoom in the font. Is that, is that better? Yeah. Okay. Um, right. So on the right hand side info panel, we have all these useful information such as properties, change detection, input, output, state, dependency, children. For output, if your component has um, an event emission, you can manually trigger it by using this handy button here. And the state tracks uh, the component state dynamically, which means if I change something here, it will show up there. Alternatively, you can also edit the state of the component directly on the info panel. So let's say I want to make this bigger. Ta -da. Um, so when I was working with Angular 2, there's one thing I found a little bit hard to wrap my head around with. It was the dependency hierarchy. Even after I understood how it worked, it's really hard to keep track of what is injecting what, what is initializing what, what is depending on what. So if you're anything like me, you will find this a lifesaver. This is uh, the injector graph. The component hierarchy here. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Uh, 
um, the component hierarchy here shows where the component's coming from. And the injector graph illustrates the relationship between the component, the injector, and the injectables. There's another uh, visual feature that Augur provides is this router tree here. It shows you all the routes that you have in your application. Now, the demo is a very simple app, so there aren't that many routes, but once you get to the more complex apps with a lot of routes, this will be really helpful, It'll save you a lot of time and brain juice. So, oh, there's one last thing I wanted to show you in this demo. So let's say this custom component isn't behaving as expected and you wanted to see what the hell is going on in the source code. There's this um, <laughs> handy view source button here that will take you directly to the TypeScript source code. So you don't have to dig through like Webpack and drill down to source and all that anymore. So that, where did my presentation go? Okay. So that about sums up the demo. There are, however, a lot of features I couldn't get into details in this demo, but we do have a workshop tomorrow at 1 p.m. It will be led by myself and my colleague Sumit. Um, we will walk through all the features of Augury with live examples, and we'll be there to answer any questions if you shall have them. So a little bit about Augury as a software. So Augury is obviously a Chrome extension, but under the extension wrapper, Augury is really just an Angular 2 application written in TypeScript. We're using the Chrome extension API. We're also relying heavily on the Angular 2's debug API. So here we have to give special thanks to Tobias, Igor, and Mishko, sorry, Papa Mishko, um, and the rest of the <laughs> Angular core team, of course, for uh, tailoring this debug API to our needs and helping us tremendously along the way. If, you want, if you're interested in knowing more about the architecture of Augury, we have a more detailed documentation on our repo on GitHub. So feel free to check that out. Okay, so I think everyone's seen where we stand at the moment. So let's talk a little bit about our roadmap and where we want to be in the immediate term. Uh, well, first of all, we have to make it work with the release candidate. And thanks, Papa Mishko, for that. <laughs> it was lovely. Um, but essentially, it's quite simple. So we're in beta, and we have to hunt down some bugs, make the tool a little bit more stable. Um, and we want to improve performance of Augury. It works quite well with small apps, medium, even large apps, but nevertheless, we can improve on the very, very large uh, scale of the application. Now, after that, what we're thinking of is to be able to provide some kind of a view or a visual aid in order for everyone to be able to inspect and measure the performance of your application so you can build faster applications uh, with that. And as usual, we at Triangle are focused on usability testing and feedback from that, as well as the feedback from the community, which we'll be incorporating um, as we go, as per usual as well. So I guess it's worth mentioning the team behind this. So you've met me and Vanessa, but we also have uh, Sumit, who will be doing the workshop with Vanessa tomorrow, and we'll be going over the features in a lot more depth and even showing more features. We have Bertrand, who is our man of ideas. And at the bottom, we have some of our designers, which worked uh, on different iterations of Augury throughout different times and help us um, you know, improve on our design and usability of the tool. Having said that, we are open source, and it's really important for us that uh, we gather more contributions for the community. This is a tool that we're building for everyone to use, and I just wanted to thank some of the existing contributors um, that well, contributed to this tool, some PRs, and again, community involvement is our first uh, priority. So, let's look deeply into our documentation. So there's a few sources of where you can get documentation about this. Well, uh, the obvious one is our GitHub repo. You can find information there on how to contribute, how to get in touch with us and ask us questions and so on, as well as find lots of different like technical, architectural, and other types of documentation there. But we also have augury.angular.io, which has a link to the Chrome store, and we'll be adding lots and lots of information to, uh, to it soon. Um, you'll have the latest build there, uh, the one that's not necessarily on the Chrome store. You'll have news, videos, and just all kinds of information there. Now, with that in mind, I want to encourage everyone to get Augury. It's available in Chrome Store. And use it, provide us feedback, open a GitHub issue, create a PR, whatever you can. Uh, we'll definitely appreciate everything. And with that in mind, thank you very much.